I challenge you, Kendris. I challenge you to fight the fight you fled that day above Althir. In the doomed seas of Tatooine, I will be waiting for you. I have spread the news of the challenge since I learned you had landed on this world. Okay. Well then. Hello everybody, welcome back to this Star episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It's a Dapper Cthulhu, and this time we are going to be going after the um, bounties. Um, before I forget, I don't need Candorous after that conversation. Thorak is waiting for you inside the hangar. As you probably know, there are no security cameras there. Better conduct our business away from prying eyes. However, before we go in, I'll point out this rather large assault droid standing beside me. I and the droid will both accompany you to see a Thorak, just to make sure there's no trouble. Um, my, my, my business with a Thorak is private. A Thorak is an important man with access to the rich and the powerful. He is not about to let himself become an easy target for a kidnapping or an assassination. When you meet a Thorak, I and the droid will both be there. It's my job to protect my employer, and I intend to do that regardless of my personal feelings toward him. Personal feelings? You... You mean you don't like a Thorak? Thorak can be as temperamental as his clients. Combine that with his arrogance and the way he treats his underlings, you can understand why I might soon consider seeking other employment. Despite all Thorax's faults, he does pay well. So I serve my other, so my, so my, so my, so serve my, so I serve my employer faithfully. For now. What if I give you 500 credits to not protect him? 500 credits to betray a Thorak? 500 credits to abandon the man who insults and belittles me on a daily basis? How could I refuse such a generous offer? Thorax never appreciated me while I was around, so let's see how he likes dealing without you alone. But before I go, one last warning, human. Whatever your plan for a Thorak is, Careful. I've always suspected he was more than just a simple merchant. I've heard people who cross him are rarely heard from again. I don't want to risk his vengeance, so I'm going to disappear for a long while. Just in case the Thorak gets better of you in this, you understand? Bye, human. Good luck. Alright. So that's him dealt with. Now, let's see if we can deal with this droid. The Sol droid must have been programmed to respond to Vex commands. Now that he's gone, it isn't doing much of anything. Let's reprogram it! Five... Or three. Okay, yeah, I have way more than enough to do either of these. So, yeah. You can either program the droid to attack a Thorak for you, or you can rig it with a frag mine, like you did with, um, what was his name in the last episode, the guy with the speeder. Yeah, rig it with a frag mine, and program it to approach him and blow up. Let's do that, because explosions. Is this what's going on here? Wow, my voice I used for him was pretty close to the real one. <laughs> I that was a happy accident. Okay, so that's one. Now, the other two, if I recall. We're on other planets. Alright.
Okay, so um, one of the one of the other bounties that they were uh, saying we could go after was on Kashyyyk. So let's. So I decided to go there next. And uh, if we have to search the whole planet, these missions are uh, recommended to do alone. So since we need Jolie with us to enter the lower Shadowlands. Let's assume that we don't need to go there. And because the Wookiee Village is a peaceful area, let's assume we don't have to go there either. So that leads the, that leaves the Great Walkway and the Upper Upper Shadowlands. And uh, after dealing with Zerka, I don't think you actually um, meet. Any uh, named characters in the Great Walkway. So that leaves the Lower Shadowlands. Plus, obviously, um, Pulos did actually say that they suspected Rulon was in Shadowlands. And uh, we already ruled out the lower Shadowlands because of the Jolie thing. So, we have to assume that Rulon's in the upper Shadowlands. Now, you may notice that I'm actually not by myself here. The reason for that is because I brought, um... Karth with me to test out his new blasters, Mandalorian, uh, Mandalorian pistols, and I brought Zalbar because I gave him the uh, poison blade I got in the last episode. I wanted to test that out. So, here's the. Um, elevator basket down to the Shadowlands. So, uh, let's go down there. And because I know what's waiting for me as soon as we get off the elevator, I'm going to... I'm going to save this. And there's a complicated reason why I have a third save file now. Which I'm not going to go into because it would be kind of hard to explain. Anyway, let's go down into the Shadowlands again. Horse had auto-saved as soon as I got into the basket, which means that there is actually a big thing that happens as soon as we get down there. Which means I was right about when it happened. At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. You were on the Endor Spire! You killed Trask! You'll pay for that! Your words mean nothing to me, unless you wish to beg for your life. No? Then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Alright. This is Darth Bandon. He is Darth Malak's personal apprentice and he is immune to more immune to most force powers that's why I didn't bring any Jedi with me because of the reasons I stated before and because force powers only serve to heal me plus I wanted to try something different this time when I fought him he has two dark two dark Jedi apprentice uh, allies and what I recommend is ganging up on each of them 
before taking him on. Yes. So let's see how this goes. That was easy. didn't work at last my search is over I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure you may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you but you are no match for me I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself you're Malik's apprentice can't say I'm impressed your words mean nothing to me unless you wish to beg for your life no then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you say to him. He just blows it off anyway. But, something I didn't mention before I died last time is that, um, Darth Bandon will appear uh, anywhere that Kalo Nord appeared before, so Great Dragon Cave, here, um, in a certain spot on Manan that we haven't reached yet, and uh, also a certain spot on Korriban that I'll point out when we get there, but for the love of God, don't fight Bandon on Korriban. He is much stronger there, and yeah, it, it's it's much uh, much more difficult to face him. How? Hmm. Well. Before I go into this fight, I'm going to give myself a promotion because that will probably help me out quite a bit. Anyway. Alright. Let's do this. But 
It looks like we might ha we got this. We win. Got concussion grenades. Three thousand credits and Darth Bandon's personal fiber armor and double bladed lightsaber. And the other Dark Jedi isn't bootable. Yes. Okay. So let's uh, have best heal everyone. And then we can move on. Because we've already deduced that Rulon Prolic is here in this area somewhere. But I'd rather not have to spend too much time down here because this place is called the Shadowlands for a reason. Can't see shit! We know that he's not over, but over in the, uh... He's not over in the... Lower Shadowlands, but it couldn't hurt to look over in the... Zerka post, leading over there. Doesn't look like there's anything moving over here. Mine. Let's attack. Uh, I don't see anything moving, which, despite the fact that the area is super dark, it's still surprisingly easy to see things moving around. So, let's keep it moving. <sighs> yeah, it just flips when you talk to it, so that's not him. That's not him. actually go past Jolie's hut. It's right here. Did I ever look at Yeah, I did. Alright. Yeah, let's go past Jolie's hut, like I said. Is he in... I thought I... thought I killed these things already. Whatever, they're dying. They're, they're dead. Once I'm done with these mines, I'm gonna sell them all. Once I'm done with this whole thing, I'm gonna sell all those mines. That's the only reason I haven't sold them yet. The corpse here. I don't think this was here before. It's a data pad on it. This data pad appears to be a diary or record of some kind. The final entry is of particular interest. We were fools to come down here. All of us. How can we help to capture an enemy that can assume any shape? Any form. Ooh. We lost two the first day. Another three disappeared the day after that. Our enemy's bloodlust knows no limits. We found Grewar's body last night. He's left of it. 
Do not leave the Shadowlands soon. I fear we will all become victims of the Faceless One. Alright. Getting close. Suspicious bonfire over there. Rowar? I thought he was dead. Why do you disturb me, human? Rowar comes to the Shadowlands to get away from your kind. Um, that's the thing. According to a datapad I found, Grawar is dead. So you've uncovered my little secret. No matter, his body has grown tiresome to me. Maybe I can find one more to your liking, human. Got something on your mind, do you? That's... That's impossible! Yeah, so this is Rulon. He's the shapeshifter we, uh, were told to hunt down. So, let's finish the job. Yes. Let's go. Now, this can be done, um, solo, but I don't have the stats for it, so I'm not even going to attempt it. So, as you see, he turned into a Taranta tech after his health got low enough, and we just keep fighting him after he transforms. And uh, once he gets to a certain point, he will transform again. This time he turns into attack and runs away. If you're fast enough to see him run away, you can actually see where he runs to. But if not, you have to hunt him down and try to figure out which one is him. And an easy way to know is that if, if you approach him and nothing happens, it's not him. This tech may be Rulon Prolic in disguise, but you can't tell for sure. Maybe if you kill it, it'll revert to its true form. Assuming it is, in fact, Rulon. This is the only way you can figure out which one's which, unless you know which one it is from, from the start. Attack it. I got it in one. You can get that wrong. I've gotten it wrong in the past. But I got it right. You get 500 credits for that. And that leaves only one left to go. So I will meet you on Tatooine. about time this popped up so this is something that I thought would happen much earlier so if you recall when we were leaving Terrace uh, we got ambushed by six fighters as we were trying to make our escape and we had to go into this mini game now after that happened every time you leave a planet there's a 50% chance that you'll get caught up in this mini game every time. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner, but on the other hand, I've had playthroughs where this happens every time. I've also had playthroughs where this never happened once, except for the uh, mandatory times where you have to do this. Um, HK47 has an option to uh, trigger it whenever you want for practice. I didn't do it because I wanted to save time, but 
this can happen. It is likely to happen. It is a 50% chance every time you leave a planet. But, there we go. I destroyed all of them. So let's move on. Wait. Where did I go? Please tell me I want to turn to me. Alright, I'm back on Tatooine, and, uh, I'm going to, uh, head out and, um, okay. I'm going to pick Candorus and Karth as my initial party members, because Candorus I need for his... Duel of Honor and the Dune Sea and Carter, on it, Karth, sorry, Karth. Honestly, I'm bringing because um, I'm trying to get his mission to trigger. I think he's ready for it. Let's see, um, there it is. Karth, Karth Onesi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your friend here, eh? How's it going? Nice to meet you, Jordo. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on the... Uh, well... Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... What I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustal? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me, you didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you, are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's, um, he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry. I thought you knew. No, no, I, I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure. No, no problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. I understand. We'll go as soon as possible. Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time I thought he was... He must be a man by now. Alright. So, that I can take Karth out of the party and put Mission in because... Well... We have an update for her mission. If you recall, her brother asked us to get some tack glands from Kashyyyk. And on Kashyyyk, after we dealt with those Zerka guys down in the upper Shadowlands, we got some Tac Glands. So now, we can give them to Griff. 
So let's see what he does with him. You're back! I knew you'd come through for me. I knew I could count on you. Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? I'm not giving you the gland until I see some credits. Sorry, like I said before, I don't have any credits on me. And Greta won't lend me any. It's like he doesn't trust me to pay him back or something. But you come through on this, and I promise you'll get a huge payday down the road. Two... Th no. Three thousand credits. How's that sound? Fine. Here, take it. Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Theresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Grip, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I've turned over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Theresian Ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. You already promised me a few thousand credits. Hey, don't worry. You'll get your credits as soon as we start mass producing that Theresian Ale. I just wanted to know if you were interested in an even bigger payoff. I've done more than enough for you already. You don't know much about business, do you? When an opportunity like this comes along, you have to jump at it. Come on, what do you say? I don't need business advice from you, Griff. It's your loss. I better get started brewing that ale. Meet me back here later and I'll give you a down payment on what I owe you. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to get on my soapbox. What he said is true. In business, when you get an opportunity, you do have to jump at it. However, I grew up in a family of business owners. I've had multiple business owners and managers in my family that I've grew up around. I know how to run business. And I also know that you have to know the difference between opportunity and idiots. And Griff is a idiot anyway with that out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and head out to the doom sea to uh, um, take care of the issue with Jordo I decided to send mission back to the ship for this Bring Karth out because Mission's just a kid. She doesn't need to be involved in this. Karth, you fought in the Mandalorian Wars, didn't you? We may have faced each other in combat. What battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? My people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Karth. I thought a warrior like you would understand. Karth isn't like you, Candorous. I'm not a warrior. I'm a soldier. There's a difference. Warriors attack and conquer. They, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent. Mostly from warriors. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. But I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know like you did against us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. The war is over. You lost. And that is why I love these companions. They all have their own personality, and they... <laughs> 
They have their own arguments, they have their own opinions. They are all very well constructed characters and I love them all. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Those two are both adults and they have their own pasts. They they are they are jaded in their own ways. They are they know what's going on here. That's why I brought them out here. Mission's just a kid. She doesn't need to see what's about to happen. As a matter of fact, before it happens, I'm gonna save in case uh in case I don't get the outcome I want. Ah, so you managed to come after all. I see you brought friends. You brought some of your own as well. Ha! Indeed I did. I foresaw that you might need help, so I arranged a distraction. I came by my own will. I do not need to hear your excuses, Jedi. I know why he brought you. Enough of this talk, Joggy. Let's do what we came here to do. I think you both need to calm down. We both know the stakes here, and we both know what we must do. It is only in death that this can end. This is a matter of honor. I cannot stand by this insult. I must do this! Why do you need to fight him, Candorous? He has slandered me and questioned my honor. Among the Mandalore, many have died for lesser insults. I speak truth, and honor is the question here. The deaths of my comrades, your warriors, is a debt in blood that can only be paid by you. When you saw prospects for glory, you abandoned the plan and left us to die surrounded by enemies. If I had not attacked when I did, the battle would not have been won so easily. It would still have been won. You sent your own men to die there, Candorous. I cannot forgive you for what you did to us. You will pay. That's not the way it happened. You sent your own men to die, Candorous? The Alfiri were fighting. Unfortunately, I saw a break in their my recording that left equipment started to fail to at this chance. point. Did. And many more warriors to, would have died, and the battle was over. You were given direct the orders. Recordings are glitching plan. out. You had and a there was nothing I could do I, except I can record. Their loss, and but it was uh, necessary. due to my equipment and my computer, not uh. He left us to die when his responsibility was to us. Basically, I had already recorded this three times, and I didn't want to do it again, so I just kept going. He cost us hours. But... But I do see your point. But why did you have to leave us there to die while you chased glory somewhere else? I saw a chance, and I had to take it. It ended the battle quicker than we would have otherwise, and many of our warriors may have died. Mandalore taught us that opportunism and flexibility in battle were to be admired. You may contradict me, but do you contradict him as well? Oh. No! I... I... I see that I have been wrong. I have not been true to the teachings of Mandalore. You were right. I was wrong to question your honor, but I must now cleanse mine with my life. No! And so it shall be. So, there is no way to save Joggy's life. Not that I've found, anyway. No matter how you play this situation, Joggy always dies. Whether you um, kill him yourself or he takes his own life. If anyone um has been able to find a way, whether in the code or by playing the game. Please let me know, but... So far as I've been able to find over the years, I've never been able to save his life. However, we still have to take care of his thugs. No, it's no more difficult than it usually is. Now, 
with that finished, let's talk to Candorous. I... I think this has affected me in ways I, I didn't anticipate. I think I'll need time to sort things out. Thanks for what you did. Whatever your intentions might have been. I just need time. Alright. That's fair. So let's let's give let's give Candorous some time to mull things over. I'm gonna bring my combatants out so that they can help me in the battle against uh Well, they're gonna help me with Vorn. First Sand people are gonna attack. I guess they can still happen. However, these desert raids. Um, for each desert raid you fight, you'll get a skull plate that you can sell. I don't know why I never went over that when I was doing this planet. But yeah. That's an option for um, money. Each skull plate is 25 credits, and uh, the desert raids appear in groups of four. And even though that cutscene said that those sand people attack you, they're actually just standing there, and they won't fight until you attack them. Which means that you can just go about your business and ignore them. So, I don't know why they even played that cutscene. Now, we couldn't get into the Eastern Dune Sea without having a map of the area, so I can't imagine Vorn will be able to, to uh, find his way around either. He's a Gamorrean, and those guys tend to not be as intelligent as other races. But Vorn is very good at what he does, so... Then again, this speeder wasn't here before. And there's Vorn's assault droid that was said to not be far from him at any given time. So, let's deal with it. That was easy. Now... There are two ways we can deal with this. The first way we can deal with this is to reactivate his droid and uh, optimize it and program it to seek him out and attack him. After which it will lead us right to him and help us fight him. He apparently took down an entire crate dragon on his own. Which is impressive, because we had to use mines. What this? What going on? What are you doing with my assault droid? I've reprogrammed your fo droid form. Turn my own droid against me. Very clever. But I take more than that to a rogue assault droid. And you to take down Fort Dasrod. Yeah, so that's option number one. Option number two is to mess with Vorn's speeder. Just like with Zulon, you can place a frag mine on his bike. Naturally, you have to have a mine to be able to do this sort of stuff. Uh, planting, a, planting a mine on, on speeders and on um, a thorax droid. If you don't have the mines, you can't do that. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got bad news for news for person who rigged this mine on Sweet Bike. Didn't work. Been in this business too long not to notice clumsy mine placed on my bike. But I give you another chance. If you really want me dead, step out here and we settle this here and now. He gives you a choice. Either step out and confront him or stay safely out of sight. This doesn't change very much. It it, the only thing it changes is where the fight happens. It either happens where he's standing now or where you're standing now. So you might as well just step out and confront him. So you decided to show your face. I don't know who you are who sent you to kill me. But you should stay you should have stayed hiding. What's the point? There's not there's not a lot of pla There's not a lot of good hiding places here. Only one. And he figures it out immediately. So if you surrender to me now, I can take you in alive. You don't know who you deal with, do you? I'd take time to explain it to you. But he said something about it's too hot to worry about that. Alright, so... Th with this option, you have to deal with both him and the droid. But the droid is easy enough to destroy. I already did it once. So, let's do it again. <sighs> then you just have to deal with him by himself. It's three on one. You really think he's gonna beat you? He, he, it's three on one and he doesn't have the force. So... That's it. All right. Search his remains. Get a data pad. Let's see what that says. There, there's a data pad on. There is a message on this data pad. Though it is unclear if Vorn meant to send to someone or if someone sent it to him. The guild is restless. Geno her. Geno her out on agents are hunting. Soon they'll come for me, and possibly for you. When they do, I plan to be... Whether Vorn sent that message or received it, it's clear he knows about the guild. Something doesn't add up. Okay. Time to head back and talk to Hulis. So, let's uh, head back to the ship now. I'm going the wrong way. Before I go back to the ship, I have one more place that I want to go. Um, I actually need to bring mission back for this. Um. Griff is not here. Bad sign. You're that friend of Griff, right? He gave me a message for you. I don't like the sound of this. He told me to tell you that he made a mistake brewing the Teresian ale. It didn't work out for right for some reason. I'm not surprised. Anything else? He told me the tech land was ruined. He said he wasn't going to stick around and have his face his exchange contact. Did he say where he was going? He hopped on board the last shuttle. I don't know where he was heading, but I can't say I'm sorry he's gone. He was one of the worst employees I ever had. He was always on a break, he mixed up orders, and I think he might have been stealing from me. That cheapskate owes me credits! You and a dozen others. I was smart enough to not to give him an advance on his wage, but you can kiss your credits goodbye. People like Griff, they know how to disappear when they get in too deep. You won't hear from him again anytime soon. Waste of time to even bother looking for him. Damn it, Griff. 
Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? There was one last thing. He said to tell his sister goodbye. And to tell her he's sorry. You're an idiot! Okay. Alright. I'm cool. I'm fine. I'm good. Let's go back to the ship. <sighs> Let's check on mission. Make sure she's doing all right. Hey there. What can I do for you? I want to talk to you about your brother. I want to thank you for helping me with Griff. You, you did everything you could for my brother. More than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and on the run like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. Don't give up on a mission. It could still change. I know people can change no matter how bad they were, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. None of us is perfect, but I've come to realize that Griff is a little less perfect than most. My brother is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. That's a very mature attitude, Mission. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not going to dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Okay, have it your way. Good for her. Good for her. Well, on that note, let's head back to Manon. back here in Manon East Central uh, because I'm going to turn in all those missions that Hulas gave me. Welcome back, Emperor Dimrath. I see you've come alone, which is good. I assume you're here to discuss business of the guild? Vorn Dasrod is get. Vorn Dasrod is dead. Well done, Emperor Dimrath. And as promised, here's your reward. Again, a hybrid on stealth unit. You'll find it is far superior to most. Horn's death brings you closer to completing your initiation into the Ganaharada. However, until you've completed all your missions, you cannot be accepted into the guild. Is there anything else? Rulon Prolock is dead. It's dead. I must congratulate you. Rulon was no easy target. I will admit that you are not the first to be sent after him. But you, are, you are the only one to succeed. Here, take this Genohrad on visor. Many of our agents use them to increase their senses and improve their skills. It really is quite an extraordinary uniform. With Rulon gone, you are another step closer to entering the guild. But until you've completed all the missions, you will not be accepted into the guild. Is there anything else? Ithuar Golder is dead. Yes, I heard he met a rather grisly end. For completing this mission, you have earned another reward. Take these Ginner out on gloves. You'll find they are very useful in battle. Horn, Ruan, the Thorax, all of them. You've done it, Abner Dimorath. I hardly dreamed it was possible, yet now the task is done. All the years of planning, spying, and digging to discover the true identities is all worth it. Now the Ginner out on are mine alone. Um, what are you talking about? More foolish after Dimarath. But no idea the targets I sent you after were three of the overseers of the guild, did you? The overseers have always acted in secret. The true identities hidden from the guild, and even each other, prevent one person from seizing control of the entire guild. Now they're dead, and I am the only overseer left in the guild. All the agents of the Genoharadon are mine to command. I couldn't have done it without your help, after Dimarath. So, when do I get to join the guild? I'm sorry, after Dimarath. 
Even after all you've done for me, I cannot allow you to join the guild now. You're far too dangerous. You know the true identity of the only surviving overseer. Suppose I could try to have you eliminated. I've seen your skill in dispatching over overseers. I think it would be in both our best interests if we were to just simply part ways. Nobody plays me for a fool! You'll pay for this, Hulas! <sighs> I was afraid it would come to this. Very well. We'll finish this as these things always seem to end. Bloodshed. The streets of Manan are no place for this confrontation. Meet me in the Dune Sea, Amnard Demarath. There we will engage in a ritual battle according to the customs of my guild. Just you and me. Goodbye, Amnard Demarath. I will wait for you in the Dune Sea. I don't need to remind you that you must come alone. If not, you won't see me and you will never have your revenge. The Dune Sea, really? I was just there! <sighs> Whatever. We'll deal with that, but we'll deal with it in the next episode. So, next time, we will deal with the threat that Hulus just issued us. And then went in the opposite direction of the docks. Anyway, I will see you all next time.